But yeah, we kind of got back to back good releases. We had that future Metro Project, and then the my delete later thing, which we'll get into. Yep, the Jack Hole Project. That was a nice mm-hmm. one. And yeah, with the future Metro thing, the We Don't Trust You, you had a lot of good tracks on there. You had another weekend feature, which I gotta say, the weekend did a feature. It might have been for Metro. This might have been it. And he said that's his last one as The Weeknd. And he wants to retire it, and he might do music, but he wants to end The Weeknd saga. So this could be the last Weeknd feature. We had some Travis stuff, and we had the infamous <laughs> Kendrick Lamar feature. And that went Oh, crazy here we go. Because the track sampled Easy es track. Uh, I forget the name, dude. That's horrible that I forget the name. Is it easy, does it? It starts with, he was once a thug from around the way. And it's a chick singing and he's like, <laughs> then he's like, bitch, no, up. Oh, yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think it is easy, does it? But yeah, they sampled the, he was once a thug from around the way, just like Kanye did on Donda 2. That was never actually officially released. And yeah. I like what Metro did with it. Kendrick came on that beat, bro, and he said some stuff about the whole first-person shooter track that J. Cole and Drake did. And J. Cole and Drake, I'm pretty sure on that track, J. Cole basically says him, Drake, and Kendrick, or K-Dot, you know, because that's Kendrick's nickname. They're they're the big yeah. three. Like, he's saying that sales-wise, they're the big three right now. If they drop something, they top charts. And I would like to throw, like, Kanye and Travis in there, to be honest with you. Big five. I replaced Drake with Travis. <laughs> yeah, I, Drake can still top the charts, though. I don't like Drake, but you got to give Drake some credit. He is a main. He definitely is a mainstay, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> and uh, uh, when Kendrick heard that, he comes through with this track mentions first person shooter and he's also the infamous line F the big three it's only big me and Kendrick even said he didn't mean it as like a diss diss it was more like a competitive thing but it got oh yeah he's done this before uh huh plenty of times yeah like like a gas to the flame like like Logic tried to do but Logic of course did it kind of uh huh kind of blatantly but Ken, you know, every time Kendrick does it, it's always calling people out for not being, not being rappers. <laughs> uh-huh. Which I like. I really respect for Kendrick. He do. He always does this. But on the J Cole project, or was it in the interview after where he apologized? It was not on the J Cole project, but like tweeting Instagram stuff and at a concert, a live concert. Kendrick didn't apologize to J. Cole. Kendrick just said it was for the competition, but he didn't blatantly downright out apologize, if that's what you're talking about. Cole released his album, responded to Kendrick on the last track, Seven Minute Drill, and then literally a day or two after, apologized live in a concert, saying that, that didn't feel like him, and he went out of line, out of character, and he didn't believe the stuff he said, and he might delete that track, hence the album name might delete later. And I'll insert a little clip of that here. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I moved in a way that I feel bad on. I try to like jab my nigga back, and I try to keep it friendly, but at the end of the day, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. So I felt conflicted, because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way, but the world wanna see blood. And I got my niggas like, what you gonna do, Cole? I must have had a thousand this But yeah, that, that's really about it. Uh, he hasn't deleted it yet off all streaming services like he said and Kendrick might respond because we still got that other Metro and Future album dropping this Friday. It will be the day before the Kusher cast this episode here is released. So like April 12th and this comes out April 13th. Sounds about right. I'm I'm wondering how it's going to go down. I'm pretty sure J. Cole said, like, if Kendrick responds, he's just gonna take, like, a punch on the cheek or, like, a punch on the chin. And it's like, bro, if you delete the track, especially after apologizing, and if you don't respond and at least show you can be competitive, I'm gonna lose a lot of respect for you. 
I'm going to lose so much respect yeah. for J. Cole, and I, I won't be the You've only one. You've gained a lot of respect over the past, like, what was it? The past five years, you have, like, just took the game and ran with it, right? Uh-huh. I mean, before that, J. Cole was kind of considered a sleepy rapper, if I'm being uh-huh. honest. Like, a lot of people, I mean, there were people that liked him, yeah. But then you had a lot of people, a lot of mainstream people that thought he was, like, he didn't want to be there. Like, he was sleeping on the mic or some shit. Uh-huh. Or he imitated Kanye and Drake a little too much at times. And you could tell he... yeah. Like, he was really inspired by them and Kendrick so much that he didn't have his own style for a while. Yeah, but then 2018 happened. And ever since then, he's clawed his way up there, and he is, he could be one of the, he could be remembered as one of the ones who went up against Kendrick. But instead, he's he's just like kind of like how Eminem was. Like, having to apologize. The only thing was Eminem had to because of UMG, because of the label, I think. Uh-huh. Like, it was more so more so because of the culture and the label, unfortunately. Maybe he did feel bad about some of the shit he said, but he shouldn't have put it out if he was going to apologize for it. That's kind of what I feel about K- uh, Cole right now. Same here. I feel like he either shouldn't have like, put it out or... He he shouldn't delete it now. That's just gonna make him look bad. Yeah, it's gonna look make him look horrible. Yeah, he's not the only I one mean, making himself look bad because say... Drake is too. Oh in yeah, lesser ways. Yeah, but he's been making himself look bad for years. Doesn't matter. People are still buying his records. Yeah, true. But J Cole can't do that. In my opinion, I don't think Drake J Cole J Cole is not in that position. He's only recently gained respect. Yeah. Drake had a bunch of respect and they lost it all. But by the time he lost it all, he's, he had enough female fans to buy his records. For real. People who he knew would buy him up. Even if he goes out was, and shoots a cardboard cutout of his friend and collaborator, Travis Scott, on stage, bro. And look here, bro, And speaking of that, <laughs> I the fact that Drake did that is just so out of character for Drake. I know, bro. Jake Cole thinks you his thing's do... out of character. Drake's thing is out of character, bro. Yeah, Jake Cole's is actually in line with hip hop and its principles. For real, the competition competition's always been part of it. It's always been there's. Always that. I mean, even back in, you know, you had 50 Cent versus Curtis. You had, or 50 Cent versus Curtis. 50 Cent versus versus Kanye. With Curtis versus Graduation, (laughs) yeah. It's always been competitive. Yeah, apologizing for for competition is just weak. Uh Uh-huh. Much like shooting a cardboard cutout. For when real. you are not known for your guns. Yeah, and Travis didn't even diss him. Travis isn't even known for that. Literally, the only reason Travis no. got thrown into this was because he was on the album and because of the whole situation that I'll play right now where Travis, he heard that song. I don't even think he heard the Kendrick part and he loved the beat. And he was like, play that, dun and a dun and a dun and play that, man. Come on, play that. And they turned it on <laughs> for a bit. Didn't even get to the Kendrick part though, but yeah, that, that that I feel like that doesn't earn Drake the right to go shooting a cardboard cutout of Travis. Like that's just messed up. That was a big publicity stunt thing, and he he could have honestly lost one of his bigger, better connections because Travis is to the he point really now he doesn't have. need Drake. Drake might need Travis though. Yeah, Drake is starting to slip down into that. He's a, Drake is in that position where he should quit because he's got he you know he he has a lot of negative shit going on but he has he still has a good discography to go look back on you know he's one he's one of those rappers that should retire but won't uh-huh. 
for real. He could retire right now. And although his last album, his last few albums have been pretty mid, he could still retire and be okay. And he's even said, like, he he's hung up the mic and studio stuff after For All the Dogs, but he's still touring and everything. And he didn't say he was retiring. He is likely going to drop another album or a collab or mixtape or something. You know? It probably is. Yeah. He'll come back in a couple of years releasing some new weird fusion of something. For real. We don't need an honestly never mind. We don't need another. Right. But yeah. That's really all the news on that stuff. It's a lot though and there's a lot that could come of it still. Yeah, I can't wait to hear this other, this next disc for future, future Metros. 